Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. And I'm Woolly Mike and I am over here. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. Advantage. I see a sea of green. Green indeed. Green is the colour. And smelly. All very smelly. Most pungent. So, we're playing one page rules, a grim dark future. And it's we, all, all the green models. All the green. So, we've got a objective token there, an objective token there, and one there. And this swarm of demons, big and flappy fly things. Demon little things, the big snail funny things. All different kinds of green gribbly things. Yeah. Your, your big demon guy. And facing it, I've got some... Return of the Dark Angels. Infiltrators. Dark Fairless. Prime. Mm -hmm. I've got a, a light, walker. A light walker. A light walker. Dark light walker. <laughs> a Prime Brothers. Sniper Squadron. And some raiders with a judge on bike. Very nice. Uh, there's two more objectives on your side, isn't there? For a total of I've five. got one there and one there. So there's, on the dice roll off, we got the maximum. So there's five tokens, four rounds of carnage. Ding dong, round one. Round one. <laughs> so who gets the first turn, Mike? With the roll-offs, you won the roll-off to deploy and the roll-off for scouts, and therefore you get first turn there or first go. activation. A lot of the advantages of my army, you've already seen, there's a lot of advanced deployment because this whole army has the demon roll, so they can ambush, which is come on during the game, or scout, which is come on last in deployment, and then get a move. A move of up to 12 inches. Uh, yeah. Which is why a lot of my army is at the halfway mark. Uh, now, the thing about this is, this army is tough, it doesn't really shoot, not very much at all, and it doesn't fight all that well either, but what it does do is survive. So, let's have a look. I've got to go first, have I? Yep. I think I'll go first, I think we'll start simple, and I will do some shooting, because I think I've got some shooting on the flies. They get three attacks at AP1 each, and there's six of them. So that's 18, right? Yep. Uh, so first, uh, but their quality <laughs> is four. So that is four and five, six. I also have the poison rule, which means you have to reroll sixes when you roll to defend. So it's okay. a total of five hits. So defense is three. It's AP one. So four die. Nice. Uh, so that looks good, but that was the shooting of a 500 point unit. Yeah. It killed 50 points of Marines, 60 points of Marines, something like that. Anyway, your action. Oh, well, I've got to, I've got to respond with them. Well, there's some left. Yeah. So my grim, dark grave prime master is there. Mm -hmm. Who's got a fist bolter, which fires six shots. Okay, okay. And then I've got six infantry. But do him because the infantry have, re do they have rending or something? They do, yeah. And that's gonna matter when it comes to my regeneration roll. So. Six energy of fist, fist attacks with no AP. Six energy fist attacks with no AP. And you sh do you have battle rights? We do have battle rights, so that's all hits. Plus one to all shooters in that unit because of the... So I've got six saves to make. And I fail three of them. Ow! And these are tough three. So there is a lost model. Ouch. Oh no, no, because I've forgotten my regeneration roll, which is basically a five up fill no pain in Warhammer terms. So I only fail the one. That's so much better, isn't it? Oh, that regeneration rule is great. Look, carrying a wound on this model. Okay, so six shots. Yep. Normal quality is four, but they get the battle right, so it goes to freeze. Mm -hmm. And there is a six in there. So I've got four shots at AP1. Four shots at AP1. Does, what's my top, my defense is three. 
So those two pass, so that's two go through. Regen roll. We have to make a regeneration roll at six up rather than five up, which fails. So two damage, so that is a lost model. And then, so the other hit, which is a six, turns into an AP four shot. So I only save on a six. And the regen is at minus one. I didn't get a six there. I didn't get a six there, so I'm carrying a wound. Three wounds total, one model destroyed. Dacken. Seems fair. I did three to you, you did three to me. Except yeah. your unit is half the price. Yeah. Um, not with the hero, I guess. Right, that was on my shooting, that was the easy stuff. Now it comes to fighting. So I think I want to charge this unit into them. Okay. You can charge 12 inches, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's see how the furthest the furthest guy can go. 12, so he can come to here. Right, so 10 attacks from the guys. And the guys are uh, one attack with poison. And they are quality four. Oops. So that is five hits. Poison means the six one is AP four. Okay. So one save on a six and four regular saves. Nope. Four dead. Ouch. And then the champion of plague gets two attacks. He's got poison and rending or not in the tray. He gets two hits at AP zero. Right. So we've got two guys still left. One saved. Ouchie. That was a lot better than I thought, but I think you rolled really badly on your I, saves there, yeah. didn't you? So I'll take a quality morale check. Uh, you do? You get to use the leader's quality. It frees. We pass. There you go. So they stand firm to risk. You fight back. So the white dice are my energy sword. The green dice are my energy fist. You've got sword and a fist. Yeah. Nice. So energy sword, four attacks, AP one rending. We've got a six in there. Right, so two regular saves. Oops, not in the tray. Uh, I fail one save and then one with rending. Two, uh, well, yeah, one with rending. Which I fail. So I've got two saves to make there. Two regens at, my, uh, regens at minus one, so two six ups. No, so yep. two damage. That's another model. And then you've got yeah, another four, four attacks. attacks at AP four. Three sixes, there's no bonuses there, unfortunately, because it's... At AP4, there's no sixes there. Regen. Fail the three, that's another model destroyed. Ow. What am I doing? No. You're not fighting these guys, you're fighting those. So you've killed a total of six models, right? Yep. Why are they taking flies off? I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. One, two, three. Six models, that's down to more than half. So I took five wounds. Yeah. And you took six wounds, yeah. So you won the combat. Yeah. So I have to make another quality check. Whoops. Which I fail. And if I fail a quality check, I wrapped, I think. Yep. That was my action. Yeah. But we do have to put a... Yes, because we both fought before. Yeah. Uh, but I'm broken. Oh, yeah. So I've gone. Um, I get a three inch consolidate, so I'm just going to jog, jog him back to there. And that was your action. Right. That was, I uh, wiped myself out on my action. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge. I did not realize that that guy had eight attacks. Yeah. He's a, he's a powerful unit all <laughs> on his own. Okay, so. From the back, he can get to there. You're charging, are you? Yep. From the back, he gets to there. And then... He wants to go forward. So, this unit, my raiders, mm. they get furious. When charging, hits from unmodified rolls of six count as two hits. Right. 
my judge on the bike has war chant, mm. which grants the same rule. But if they're already furious, then it becomes fives and sixes. Indeed. And because of the nature of the tight space that I'm in, there, which is an interesting nuance of this game, I actually can't fight back with many models. Because of the two inch rule? Because of the two inch rule, yeah. So we'll start with the bike. Now, in previous games, we've discovered he only gets one close combat attack. Mm. But it has the blast three rule. Yeah. And he makes that one attack. So he makes three hits. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No, no AP. No AP. All right. So four, uh, four ups. I fail one and then I make my regen roll of four up. So he's okay. And then each of my raiders gets two attacks. So again, no AP, but with five, five and fives, fives explode. Yeah. Yeah. So we're hitting on fours. Yeah. So we have two normal plus another ten. So twelve wounds. Twelve wounds. Oops. Twelve wounds. Fail, 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 fail. So they're all passes. So these then roll the regen. It's four up because of the champion. One guy dies. That's... <laughs> That's more like it. It's that guy having a huge AP has made you feel, you know, excited. Yeah. Right, how many models can I fight back with I'm then? I'm calling you, I'll give you five. You give me five, that sounds about right. Quality four. That's three hits, and they are no AP, and they have the poison roll. There's no sixes there. Three up saves. One goes. Hey. We've driven you back. But you have now acted. No. But I'm shaken. Shaken, that's the sorry. Or whatever the term is, yeah. or fatigued, or fatigued. Whatever the yeah. whatever the blue units that have already fought. We're putting these blue tokens down to show that they if they fight again, they're fighting on sixes. Because they're fatigued. Right. My action. Oh far one twelve, get me. Get him to there, which is within two inches. Then we get this guy in. But we're not we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna run there to contest the objective. But you're fatigued, aren't you? Those have already fought. I think I am. I'm going to fight you. Because it's my best chance. Uh, I think I can get eight guys in in the champion. Yep. All right. Eight attacks. Uh, quality four. The poison. Yeah, the poison means you have to reroll sixes. So three hits. So three hits at defense three. Well, you better yeah. roll one at a time. Yeah, yeah. Saved one. Yeah. Saved two. Yeah. Saved three. Okay, and then my champion just gets two attacks. One hit. Oh. Saved. Right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You fight back. Yep. You're all on sixes. So, four rending attacks, AP one. One. Failed. Failed, so I lose one model. And then energy shift, four yep. attacks, AP four. Two hits. That's a pair of sixes. A pair of sixes. Failed. One more, up to two, and the and the guy. Oh, the guy, yeah, the soldier. These are two attacks. 
No hits. Right, I lose two. I make a quality check because I'm beaten, which I pass. So I pull back an inch. Which two do you want to take the furthest to? The casualties? Yeah, it's just a sea of green, isn't it? It's quite an involved first turn. That's a lot of models. Don't like that being contested, so we're going to charge. Okay. Let's start with a light power fist. Four tax AP2. All hit, uh, sorry, no, quality three, so three hits. Three hits. AP2. Uh, no saves. Two saves. Another one dead. That's one so far. And then three stomp attacks at yeah. AP1. Two hits. AP1. Saved them both. I get some fight backs at sixes. How many guys can fight back? We will give you four in your champion. Four in the champion. Okay. No sixes. I've got to make a morale check for losing. I rolled a one. So that unit is also destroyed. <laughs> Boo! I'm getting through these guys. And so the kind of 50-ish models that I started with, you've already killed 22 of them. And I will consolidate three inches. Excellent. Over to you, sir. This unit can't do anything useful. However, the champion of playing on the Great Snail can. It's slow, but hey, what difference does that make? It has a toxic slime trap, which slows the unit down, but there are no units that can move near me. Uh, the slow means he's going to charge at minus four. So he's only got an eight inch charge. And I don't know. Is that going to get me within two inches? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah? Yeah. The giant snail is upon you. My quality is four. So I get two attacks which are poisonous and rending from the guy on top, which is a pair of ones. That's beautiful. And then I get six attacks from the toxic maw of the giant snail, which is AP1 poison. And that is five hits. Okay. So you've got three up saves down to four up, right? Yeah, so I'm, I've got four men, so I'm going to roll four of the five first. Yeah. And I fail three of those. And then the one carried over. Which I fail. So the unit is eliminated? Yep. Cool. <laughs> the toxic maw. <laughs> And that, that was your, your rider, what about the beast? That was the beast. Okay. It's now you're fighting back. Okay. So you got one, one attack. attack with your hammer. On a six. Nope. No. Um, interesting not there, the blast would be bad for you there because I'm only one model. Yes. So you would only do a single hit. Even on, um, Yeah, you can yeah. only do as many points of damage as there are mm. models in the unit. So the slimy do the sport as well. Yeah. Okay, uh, your action. My sniper squad is going to shoot the slimy dudes behind your boss. Right, you want to shoot the champion? Yep. The champion has got three wounds, but yep. the champion gives everybody else plus one to their demon save. Yeah, so all three shots at two plus. Yep. On because your the hero. Roll. Two. Two. So two saves, which I make. Yeah, it was AP1, but... The I can roll the five and the yeah. six, mate. I'm good. Golden. So that's them been. That's them having been. Okay. Now, time for the great one to get involved. He's going to move to there. So I really wanted to stick the Demon Prince in with the uh, flies. 
But the list builder told me I can't do that because I'm not allowed a unit that's cost more than 700 points. <laughs> and he's a, pow he's a powerful unit and they're a powerful unit, so you can't stick the two together. Yeah, there's so a really good list builder available and it does set out the number of champions you can have along with the units. The more units you have, the more champions you can have. And I need to do this because <laughs> I've just realised I've not tagged that objective. <laughs> and I need to keep that. Okay. So they're just going to conga line because I'm a pro gamer, me. I can, I can do like conga line and everything. I think John, John's got a rude word for it, hasn't he? But not a, not a problem. Right, so my Dark Brothers. My Dark Prime Master is not within 12 inches, so he's not nope. fighting with his... So you've got 10 riflemen. Hitting on freeze and AP1. That's a lot of hits. That's all of them. That's all the hits. Yeah. What were they shooting at, sorry? Him. Uh, well, these. Oh, sorry, yes, he's part of the unit. He's yeah. part of a unit of gimps. Yeah. Right, these are terrible. Uh, play Furies. Quality is five. So, save wise, I'm going to lose five, but I've got my. Uh, do they have it? Regeneration. Yes, they do. Five ups. Oh, and does he give them the blessing of plague? Let me just check. Champion of plague. No. So I lose four of them. Ah, which breaks your conga line. <laughs> which breaks my conga line. These are super fragile models, so I'm going to put them out of the way there. We already broke one earlier today. They were very hard to get out of the phone packaging. Yes. Just every, everything is spiked. Okay, so that completes my... No. Oh, that completes your actions. Yeah. Okay. So you've still got units to move. I have. I don't realise that my Nurglings can move over here. It's one action. My other Nurglings are not moving, and that's the end of my turn. I hold this objective. You do. So I'm going to put a yellow, a blue token on there, and I hold this objective. So I'm going to put a blue token on there. I hold this objective. And this objective, well, we're saying hold, it's actually we seize this objective this turn. But we're doing it this way because objectives are sticky in this game. So we're not, we're, this way we don't need to move the objective marker and it marks who currently controls it as well. So it's kind of two birds with one stone. All right, let's roll on to round two. So here we go then, round two. I've got my walker and my power dude holding this objective. The slaughter of demons. Oh yeah, against your um, flappy flies and their objective. Mm. Your Nurglings are covering one there. Your big boss guy and his entourage that's not so big now. Big slimy snail bite dude and my judge. Back to defending my token there and my prime brothers in the middle. To start, I realised that I've made a mistake. I've potentially made a really big mistake. This hero is in a unit that needed to have taken a morale test. And this is a very expensive hero in a very weak unit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm okay. At the very least, it runs off his quality, so I'm okay. Yeah. But I don't think I'll be doing that again. Okay. Now, the first turn is decided on who won the dice roll. Mm. Subsequent turns is who finished moving all of their units first. So the person with the least units now goes first. Mm. So that was definitely you. Yeah. So, your flappy birdie things mm. get to say hello to my little friend. The walker. The walker, not the captain. The captain's a better fighter. Captain's a much better fighter. I think you're right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rewind. We're going to it's whether you want the walker to, to, to get in to soften them up and then the captain to kill them. 
Yeah, so that's what I was. My my plan is to sh move in and fight with them. Yeah. So then they're shaken. Yeah. And then kill them with the captain. Yeah. yeah. So. So that's what I'm doing. Is he's charging in? Yeah. Four AP two fist attacks. Mm. All hit. AP two, eh? Yep. Six up saves. I make one, so I've got three regen rolls to make, which I pass one, so I take two damage, which is a model. And then we're stomping you three times AP one. And only one of those hits. Uh, that's a fail, but that's a successful regen roll. Okay. I now fight back. I have got four guys. Four hand weapon attacks from the guys on top who get two hits. No AP. Both saved. Defense two. And it's three attacks per stinger. So that is 12. Six, nine, 12. Oh, terrible, terrible. What's that? Six hits. Any AP? No, nope, I never quite remember what poison does. You need to reroll sixes. Th these are not. These are not poisonous. You do. So you don't reroll sixes. You do one damage. I do a mighty one damage. Yeah. Uh, these were AP one. The other two up two, safe. Two damage. So yeah, two up safe. So it is two damage. Sorry. Cool. That was a tie. That was a tie. So you fall back, but we're both blown. Yeah. My action. They fight on sixes. They don't, it doesn't affect their shooting. Is that right? All hits are on sixes. Only hit on a result of an unmodified six. I'm going to activate this unit, this unit, and I'm going to shoot the captain. I'm blown, so I'm shooting on sixes. I get a mighty one hit, and this is an AP one. So defense two goes to three. No, this is poison. So it's a, it's a six. Oh, that's two, three, four hits, actually. I'm an idiot. No, I'm, I'm on sixes only. That's yeah. why. Right. It's poisonous, which means you have to reroll sixes to okay, defend. So why can I not remember that rule? So my infiltrator, the, yes. the, the buddy, doesn't Fails save. save. Unit deleted. Now the captain stands alone. <sighs> None shall pass. Are you going to charge? I thought you might. So we'll start with four AP1 rending shots. And all hit. All hit. I have three saves to make on that. And these are at minus one. Yep. So it's only sixes. So two wounds so far. And then four AP4 energy fist attacks. All hit. One save. No, uh, this is not rending, is it? No. So those, so two more wounds. So that's a model and one carried over, and you've done a total of four wounds. Can I beat four wounds? I don't think so. It's sadly, you only get two, two, two troops fight back. Three. Oh no, because you're all the way over there. Okay, that looks like one to me. Um, because of the bases having to keep them apart, um, um, oh, so right. yeah. we've, got, we've got to be... Okay, so there's six attacks from uh, AP1 from the flies. Three hits. Ooh. Two fails. Two fails, and then two attacks, but no AP from the guys. Another one. Save. So I've got to make a quality check again. Because you beat me. Yeah. And I fail it. Off they go into the ether. Ooh. The fragility of demons. 
Because I've not played with a lot of melee, I hadn't appreciated how impactful it was going to be. The fact that I can't shoot. Well, 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 well. I guess it's time for the Demon Prince to get involved. Do we kill the walker or do we kill the guy? How much damage is the walker taking? Two out of nine. Two out of nine. Oh, I'm going to have to go this way. I'm going to attack this guy. I'm going to feel like I'm going to regret this. <laughs> okay, let's attack with the fury first. Two attacks which are poisonous and rending. No hits. Now the main guys can stomp on you with one attack. Which misses. Because he's quality three. And then he's got three attacks at AP3 with poison. Two hits. At AP3. So you've got five up save. Five, two five up saves. So you have to re-roll sixes. Nope, two. Two damage takes you to four. I would have killed any normal hero, but not a dark grim master. Yeah. So, so we're going to fight back with loads of attacks on sixes. Four attacks, AP1 rending, none. Four attacks, AP4, one. Oh, I passed the armor save. Yep. So you lose the combat. So you have to take a quality check. Which I passed. Ah, oh, boo. But we do go. You are driven back. One inch back. My biker dude. Yep. Has the fast rule. Yep. Which means he adds normal six goes to eight. But if he dashes, he goes 16. Wow. So he forgoes his firing to dash towards that objective. Okay. Well, gets me. Do I have to get within an inch or do I have to get within two inches? Um, within an inch for close combat and then any other model within two. Yeah, okay. Here we go. More combat. So, how long do we have to wait for him to actually get there though? Is it like, <laughs> the guy zips past him on the bike <laughs> and he slowly turns around. <laughs> Heading that way. I really got to get a light brush on that and get rid of all that dust. That's not yeah. highlights you can see, that's a layer of dust. Because he was on a shelf for a long time. Right, uh, I think it's two attacks from the guy on top. Both of which hit. These are poison and rending. So the rending is AP4. Has I got a six there. So six one is? at AP4 and one at AP1. Both oh, failed. You both failed anyway. Right, and then six attacks with the toxic maw. That is his quality three as a champion. So that's four hits. AP. <clears throat> AP one. So three. Oops. Three more damage. For a total of five. Five, yeah. And he has six. He does. I get one attack back. You get an attack back, yep. Which I... Uh, you probably hit, hit. I do hit. So... If, What's your AP? I rolled a six, it doesn't matter. Yep. There you go. Now you have to make a quality check. Quality pass. Yeah. <laughs> but in trouble. So... So if, if you can move my guy back an inch the bike for me. I, I was barely in contact. You yeah. have to move to at least an inch away, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Because this model is slow, I could barely do it. So. So, at your slugfest, nine heavy rifles at AP1, hitting on threes. Seven hits. Seven at AP one. Defense is four. So down to five. Ooh, regeneration. He's got the blessing of plague, so that's only one fail. Blessing of plague is plus one to the save. So take on one damage. Alright. The nurgling swarms are gonna charge the bike. There we go. They get three attacks each. 
and you're already blown. These swarms attack three and poison. And their quality, I think, is terrible. Oh gosh, quality is six. So that is one hit. I didn't realize that. Quality six. But I found it. So we killed him before he fought back. <laughs> Nice. These are all pagged because they fought. Uh, my last unit, my three are going to shoot your <coughs> the, the the herald in the there. Hero, hero. Yeah. Two hits. We're going to hit on twos. AP one. Uh, one fails. So he's carrying one damage on the hero. Who is? This guy with the bigger sword back here. Yeah. So you've got those in your other nurglings? Those are my other nurglings. I think they're doing nothing. Oops. Because uh, getting closer to you doesn't do me any good. So consolidating. At the end of the round then. Yeah. So. I'm going to take two tokens. Yeah, you want to take some more for later. Yeah. So my, my two are retained, and the Nurglings retain their three. Nice. Round Start. three. My big guy is still pretty healthy, taking on the demon and his little flappy puppy. Nurglings and the Snaug dude holding that one, and the Nurglings and Chaos Demony thingies holding that one. My guy's still pretty solid. I've got a good unit moving up the middle, but we're looking a little bit weak. So, into round three. Well, well I, you finished activating first, so again, you're going to get the first action. Yeah. All the melee units have recovered their breath. They're and ready. They're charging. You're going to start with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't move my model, bro. <laughs> Juggernaut charge. Juggernaut charge. That's Four attacks at AP2. Two hits. Two hits. No saves there, but the regeneration, no. Uh, oh, I should have done that one at a time, shouldn't I? Because the first one kills yeah. the fury. And now the regen, regen and then the on room. the Lord, he passes the save. Yeah. Uh, what was the AP? AP one, uh, two. AP two. Harbinger of plague, defense three. Yeah, he's okay. And then the free stomp attacks. Two hit. Two hit. One AP. One AP. So I've got to do regen on that, and I think he has blessing of plague. Yeah. No. So he's taking a point of damage as well. But this is not really why you were doing this for, was it? Nope. Right. I, I, somehow this demon is going to stomp on that walker twice. Uh, that is two hits at AP1. Saving freeze. Savings. No. Because he's got a save of two going yep. up to three. Yep. Yeah. And then three attacks at AP3, which is two hits. And you, these are poison, so you have to re-roll any sixes that you roll. Nope. Oh, so that's two more damage. Yeah. Oh, you did one to me, you added two to you. So I think you're thinking about routing. I'm thinking about throwing the dice on the floor. Staying and fighting. You're thinking about staying and fighting and reclaiming your dice. Yep. <laughs> right, but you are driven back, but you're already yeah. that far back. So that's okay. And we will put a... Marker down. Pop token on him. It only really matters for this guy. Yeah. Because nobody else has got... The Nurglings are not going to charge yeah. anybody ever again, having <laughs> seen a quality six. They're literally bullet catchers. And so it's your action. Isn't it? Didn't you just charge it? Did I, I charge you? Or you charged me? I charged you. You charged me, so it's my action. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, get your head in the game, Michael. Right, the slimy dude can't charge anyone because he's too slow and they're too far away. The demon prince doesn't want to charge anyone, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush the nerglings up here. So 
that your green shield of stamp. Mm. So, in that case, my hero will charge your demon. I thought he might, your your dark captain master do, yeah. bro. Four attacks, AP one rending. One hit. Not saved. Pass the demon save, or the regeneration. And four attacks, AP four. Three hits. Three hits. These are six up saves, so saved one. And then the regeneration. Saved another, so I took a point of damage. Okay, so fighting back with the Harbinger of Plague. So I've got uh, two stomp attacks at AP1. On sixes? No, and three with my gauntlets. Oh! Ooh. Two hits, these are AP3 and poison, which means you have to reroll sixes. So saving on fives or sixes? Saving on fives only. Uh, two damage. Yeah. And does that mean you lose? Yep. Yeah. Oh, does that mean you're dead? Yeah, tough to six. Ah, oh, woo! The old gods remember. We're going to use the power of the shooty. The power of the voodoo. I do. You can start off with my sergeant and my lieutenant's plasma pistols. Mm-hmm. Normal quality is free, but we've got battle right, so we're hitting on twos. Yep. What are you shooting at? The Nurgles. They're all Nurgles. Uh, the, the Nurglings. The, the Nurglings, sorry. Okay, cool. So, two hits. AP four. <coughs> Failed the saves. Yep. So that's two damage. And nine carbines. The AP ones. Again, hitting on twos. So nine. Six up. Oh! Then five up. Oh! Three is a full base. So three more? Yeah. Base destroyed. Not as effective as I thought it would be there. I rolled really well on the six. Yes. Now, you done what I hoped you would do. Yes, you have. <laughs> oh. So, the champion of plague is two attacks from the bra on top, which both miss, and then six attacks from the gaping maw, which are poison attacks. And they're all hit. They're poison and rending. So there's six at AP four. At uh, three at AP four. So three six ups. One. And you have to re-roll sixes because it's poison. <laughs> Safe. So he does two. save. So two dead. And then the others are, are no AP. So just two wounds. Okay. They're AP one. I was looking at the wrong line. Two more then. There were two threes in that list, were there? Yeah. Nice. So that was a total of four. Four. And you're going to fight back with three guys and a champion? Yep. So three guys. Do they get two attacks each? No, these are prime brothers, so they only get one attack for close combat. Okay. And that's uh, one hit. Battle rights? No, that's shooting. It's only shooting? Yeah. Okay, one hit. Fill the quality, fill the regen, so one damage taken. And then the sergeant, uh, the champion. Yeah. Two attacks. Both hit. Any AP? No. That one passes, this one, make the regen roll, take another one. So I took three. No, I took four. And you took four. I take a test of quality. Uh, quality. I fail it, but I sacrifice. I've got the grim rule. Yeah. I sacrifice a man and stay in the fight. Right. So you're not below. So you passed your morale test for losing. You're not below half, so you don't round, but you are shaken. Yeah. And that's miss next turn. Yeah. With red one. 
Yeah, so I, 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 I failed my route test, but the grim rule allows me to sacrifice a man. Yes, absolutely. Now, you're not only shaking, you are also blown. Put a blue one on there if you fight again. Yeah. Because they've melee this round, but shaking means they can't act next turn. And that's a big deal. Yes. Yeah? Uh, that was my action. Uh, and let's just push this guy back. There we go. Yeah. So, and how many wounds do you see you got in total? Uh, nine. Do I shoot him with my snipers? I'm not going to shift them by... So yeah, I'm going to shoot him with my snipers. Three hits, AP1. Three hits, AP1. Two saves, and then a blessed regeneration. Nope, so he's up to four damage out of nine. Ouchie. Nerglings, and those guys are going to stick, and that's the end of round three, right? It is. Uh, we need some more tokens, Mike. Yep. I got one there, and one there. And I got, because the objectives are sticky, one, two, three. So, going into round four. Mike, you're going to have to get super lucky to get anywhere here. I think so. I think the game's already up. Yeah, we've what? got Demon on Walker. That's going to be an interesting little conflict. Mm. Melee in the middle. And pretty much consolidated on that token. And those two tokens are going to stay sticky. So, into the final round. Final round. Again, uh, you finished uh, activating first. So, you get the first action. Now, you're shaking unit there. That's miss a go. It is, so they're not going to do much. They're not going to do anything except defend themselves. Yeah. Which they probably don't need to do. So, what I'm going to do is... It might be a little bit awkward, but... Six is not going to take me to the token anyway. I'm going to have to move that out of the way. And drop myself in there. Not going within an inch of me. Yeah. I don't think you can... You're moving a lot of scenery to fit in, mate. Yeah, there was probably such a big base, so... Um, I, I, yeah. So, um, no, I'm going to have to charge you, aren't I? I can't... There's no way I can get in there. So, we will charge. I don't mind a little bit of scenery yeah. adjustment, but if you genuinely don't fit, you don't fit. Yeah. What you want to do is stand on this spike here. Yeah. I don't think you can I, do I, that. I, I, if I only had wings. Right. So, four fist attacks at AP2. All hit. Uh, two fail and fail. So, two damage. And two. three stomp attacks, AP1. Two hits. Pass. And pass. So, total of two damage to me. Punch, punch, punch. Pa parry. Uppercut. <laughs> Man isn't articulated like yours. Yeah. Yours can fight. Um, now then, this is the Harbinger of Plague. So, two stomp attacks at AP1. Two hits. It takes me to six. Two damage takes you to six. And... Three Plague Gauntlet attacks at AP3 with poison. No hits! Oh! No hits! A tie! You know what? This guy has fear. So he counts as having dealt. He's got fear at what level? One. He counts having dealt an extra wound in melee. I've got fear too. So I count as extra two wounds in melee. Yeah, but you only remembered because I remembered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you beat me? Yes. Because you did two to me and I did two to you, is that yes. right? I've got one fear, you got two fear. So I gotta make I gotta make a fallback and I pass my quality check. Yep. Okay. Yes, yeah, another one of those rules I completely forgot about until you told me I had that rule. Yep. Well Mike, I'm just gonna do nothing and win the game. I know. <laughs> Thank you for Thank the you game! For 
If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. That's a great little game there, Wooly. I it enjoyed was. that. I enjoyed that a lot. Interesting how we played more melee this time. And I think we, we missed the bit about about rat. I think we were jumping straight to the route step previously. We were, yes. Whereas you needed to be under half strength before you routed. We started to remember the fear rule. And I think I finally got in my head how the poison rule works, having checked it ten times during the course of the battle. What did you think? It was your second game. How are you finding well, what Well, when we were setting up, I was calculating that if, if, if I hit with everything, I only had something like about 40 hits. Yeah. Possible shots, rather. Per turn. And, per turn. And, the and I had about models. 60 models. But then having to go into close combat and using the tag teams mm. is really, really good. I, that's the best game I've had with these figures. Right, and you played some Combat Patrol Warhammer. I, I, you played another game of one-page rules with me, or two. We were a practice yeah. game and a video game. Uh, yeah. and so I played two full games of Ninth Edition 40k. Played the Combat Patrol, which I absolutely hated because it the was the new another... Tenth Edition Combat Patrol. Yeah, yeah. Um, on the first turn, I just got charged off the table, and I didn't have any fight mm. in the second turn. But that, even though you had the numbers, it's it's an interesting. It's one. The fact that they have to fight and they're not very good at it. Yeah. The the biggest dynamic is the the odd number of tokens and whoever sets them up first then but really becomes the defender. Yeah, which is the which was the key one. I, I don't know the, the the only the only change I would probably suggest is the first one must go in the middle or closer to the middle. Yeah, or maybe there shouldn't be. Maybe if we look again at the rules, maybe we should do that now. You can't, we can't deploy them within nine inches of each other. Yeah. But maybe you can't deploy them within nine inches of a deployment zone. So, place D3 plus two objectives. Players roll off to go first and then alternate in placing one marker each outside of deployment zones over nine inches away from each other. That's all it says. Roger. But we double check so that you yep. can put them kind of on that 12 inch deployment line. But look, it's a, it's a speedy game. The great thing about objectives, and I realise this in Kill Team, is it forces interaction and lots of with the smaller game. I really enjoyed the size of this game. We both got more models we could play with, but this game took like an hour. Yeah. You know? And that's 2,000 points. In this system. In this system, yeah. yeah. I mean, you definitely could scale it up a bit. I don't know how I'd feel about playing this on a 6x4 table at this size. This doesn't feel like enough models to me for a 6x4 you, you, table. I, I, you might have, because... You have to scout, mm. bring them on and move them 12 inches, or yeah. ambush. Yeah. But the, the ambush didn't really suit the smaller board. No. Um, but I, I like the density of the action. It forces players... Ag agreed. ...to fight. Yeah, 2,000 points on a 4x4 four four board. It seems you, like you, good... you were at the limit of your, the model count, I think. Um but, Yes, although on reflection, the thing is when you build your armies for 40k and then you play this, so although I've got enough of these, I've got 30 of these guys, which is the maximum you can have, I don't necessarily have the right number of musicians and things, because he's coming up to 20s in 40k, Yes, uh, and so forth, but they're capped at 10 in this, yeah. um, so, and the musician and so forth are quite important for getting that unit moving. Alright guys, anyway, I enjoyed it, thank you Thanks for watching, bye-bye.